Kevin Svansky again from ESPN Cleveland talking about competing in the AFC North. I think it prepares you. I mean, you're, you're better off having played in this division. And, I, you know, I think about Coach Tomlin, Coach Harbaugh, Coach Taylor. I think about the, the, the stability that they've had in all these places. I think about all these players that, that have come through these uh, strong rosters. And, and again, it, it prepares you. You're playing six games against what I think is the premier division. Uh, and at the end of it, you're battle tested. Winning the division is something we dream of because it involves having a home playoff game. I haven't done it since 89. Not that we remember that. And, and, and I think what happened at the end of the year last year sort of underscores it. I mean, going, mm-hmm. having to go to Houston, having to deal with that matchup. How, how much as you look at a season like this one, do you now value and prioritize not just getting in, but trying to get some of these big games at home without a doubt. I mean, every club wants to win the division. Every club wants to host those, those playoff games. Me talking about it is not going to make it happen, but I can promise you it's one A of, of our goals. Uh, in order to get where you're going, that, that's a really big first step. The, the, the way you have to get there is you have to win at home during the regular season. They are finally starting to do that. That's step one to win in the division. Yeah, we, and, and we found out uh, last year that, uh, you know, we have a heck of a home field advantage. We found out that our, our crowd in a way, I don't know who started this. I don't know. It sounds like somebody is banging on aluminum foil during the game, but uh, keep doing that, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever is banging at the top of the, the, the stadium, I don't know. It just sounds like we're, we're in some sort of, I, I don't know, crash test in a, in an old uh, Chevy Seville or something. But, man, keep banging that, that old metal because that, that really distracts people. But, um, look, we you know, everybody wants those those, those playoff games. And it's not even about one. It's imperative. There's only a c- couple of guys that I know that go on, on the road and do what they want to. And that's Michael Jordan and Patrick Mahomes. So uh, Patrick Mahomes, they prove that they don't need home field advantage. They prove they go anywhere and get it done at any place. And when you got Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, that is what it is. But for the rest of the, everybody else, for the rest of us, you got to have that home field advantage. And it's a huge 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 key to making uh, your your hey especially when you want when you talk about this division if you're going to play uh, uh you know Herbert and Burrow and Allen and and Mahomes and all these other dudes right um we're not going to uh, uh, you know the young Texans and you're going to play all these quarterbacks CJ Stroud you you might want to have them play in your place and you might want to have hey heck let it be cold for a little bit just just be able to neutralize um, some of the stuff that they're doing. And we've seen that our defense plays on another level. When the Browns play at home defensively, they are different. It's just how, it just is what it is. So I think one of the one of the most important things this season is realizing everybody talks about, oh, oh listen, you know, we don't want to peak peak too quickly or it's a long season. No, them games in the beginning of the season count just like the ones at the end. They need to get off to a good and fast start. And if they can get home for the advantage, that's supposed to be exactly what they want to want to do.